All right. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Um, yeah. If you want to know what's that noise, that's the microwave. I'm basically going to have something to eat. I could have eaten yet. I mean, I have eaten, I had a bowl of cereal, but, yeah, that's kind of all I had. Wait, hold on, uh, just gonna check something very quickly, I'm gonna see if I've... I'm sure I've got the DLCs. Alright, so technically, yeah. Um, there's, there's two stuff that I need to do in this area. Um, yeah, so I might. Go here, Morag on your sage. Right, let's go here first. Who do I speak to? You in charge now. So you're the great warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. You heard wrong. So you say. Damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. It's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and all off to the castle tonight. Have faith. Good men will defeat this evil together. I hope you're right. I really do. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Why does Owen refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Nobody else can do the repairs? Not by nightfall and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? 
Could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll still be playing. He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Right, I'll let that cool down. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Right. Oh, Smithy is here. What is it? It's here. Who are you? I'm the bloody blacksmith and this is my shop. There's nothing of interest here anymore, whoever you are. So you best move along. I'd like to speak with you. Can I come Certainly in? not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. I need to talk about repairs. That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself. Please, I need to talk to you. Mm. All right, all right. I don't know why you're so determined. Here, I'll get the locks. My name is Steve. A Grey Warden. Help me. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why have you locked yourself? <laughs> my girl, Valena. She's one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. It would be better. 
better than going to my grave wondering. If you look for Helena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Nothing besides your conscience. You got one of them. Then you should know the value of a deal. You want something. I want something. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right, then. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well... I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Go to sit by the Maker's side, if that's what you mean. Only those who are worthy are brought to the Maker's side. So many other sad souls are left to wander in the void, hopeless and forever lost. And what evidence of this have you? <laughs> I see only spirits, no wandering ghosts of wicked disbelievers. It must be so sad to look forward to nothing, to feel no love and seek no reward in the afterlife. Yes, the anguish tears at me so. You have seen through me to my sad, sad core. Now you're simply mocking me. You notice. It appears your perceptive powers know no bounds. Greetings, Grey Warden. I'm as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I don't quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Very well then, my lord. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, 
until recently in direct service of Al Eamon of Redcliffe. But now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Well, with the Great Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armour and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I can do. It's an effort. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, my lord. Make a watch over you. <laughs> right, I've had my tea technically. amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Be grateful when... I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? <clears throat> I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sopath seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Sopath believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire <coughs> them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Right, I guess I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, there's going to be a new series soon called The Witch of Free, where when I made space on my Xbox. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. are ready to fight at your disposal. I'm ready to make my son here. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... No, I'm ready. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Ha <laughs> ha! 
It's time, men. Know that we fight for the makeup of our hour. Stay here and guard the path. Come on, we need to hurry! Oh yeah, uh dark he's a warrior, so boom.
<coughs> Dawn arrives, my friends, and all of us remain. We are victorious. And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have to thank for our lives today. Without their heroism, surely we would all have perished. I bow to you, sir. The Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Allow me to offer you this, the helm of Sir Ferris the Red, my great uncle and hero of Ferrell. He would approve passing it to one so worthy. Uh, thank you. It, what is it special about it? Beyond the fact that it belonged to a great man, it was enchanted by the dwarf who forged it. But that may just be an old family tale. Take it then, and use it in good health. Let us bow our heads and give honour to those who gave their lives in defence of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. So let it be. With the Maker's favour, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your arm. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Okay, uh, I got something new. Uh, she's a uh, rogue, so... Right, so what did I just get? Uh, on, is it a weapon? Did I get any? I just got something, but I don't know what. 